Welcome to the 12 days of Wolfmas, everybody. If you're new to the series, let me explain. For 12 days of uploading in a row, I grind low stakes poker to build a bankroll to give away to all of you, the viewers. Last year, we gave away $3,639. I have no plans to slow down this year. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment the keyword I reveal at the end of the video. Seven lucky winners will be picked on Christmas Day. Getting right into it, we're jumping into the 1 2 game here at TCH Dallas. And the very first hand we peel for Wolfmas is none less than Pocket Jacks on the button. Middle position raises it up to $12, and Shiva of Log Watcher here in Dallas from the cutoff makes it $35 to go. I decide to 4 bet Shiva to $150, and he calls for less. He has around $100 in his stack. He turns over pocket eight. We have him in rough shape, which is very good news for you guys, the viewers. We're gonna run it two times to reduce a little bit of variance here. The first board comes clean for us, but the second board, however, has an eight on it, which means we are chopping up this $215 pot, but it kind of feels a little bit wrong taking money from a vlog watcher just to give to you guys. So chopping it up here in this first hand seems appropriate. In this next hand, we look down at Jack nine of clubs and I raise it up to $10. We're gonna get three bet to $25 out of the small blind. And I'm a little bit distracted in this hand. I'm going through a bunch of game cards. There's a dealer's choice game that is about to start and I haven't heard of a bunch of these games. So I wanted to brush up on my poker knowledge. I decide to call the three bet. I'll be in position the rest of the way and the flop comes jack seven four giving me top pair. The opponent in the small blind bets out for 20. I put in the snap call and we are off to the turn which comes the deuce of diamonds. The opponent copies and pastes his original bet on the flop and I put in the call once again. That's leading us off to the river. With $132 in the middle of the river, now comes the queen of diamonds, putting an overcard to the jack. When the opponent does not decide to slow down on this river, instead firing out for $75, can't really be putting in the call when he bets all three streets, so I reluctantly fold my cards. We'll never know what he has, but I'm hoping this was a disciplined fold. All right, we were in for $500 to start. Our stack is almost down to 400, so we have some work to do to try to make you guys some Christmas money. This raised to $15, I put in the call and the big blind comes in as well. That means we are going three ways to the flop, which I absolutely smash. Ace, queen, six with two clubs. Top pair in the nut flush draw seems pretty great. What's not great though is when I check it in flow, the action checks through, but the turn is the four of clubs, bang, we turn the flush. Could lead out here, could check for deception and they go for a check raise. I decide to put money in the middle. I have a great hand, want to get some value. The big blind puts in the $25 and now the hijack decides to jam his $69 stack into the middle. What a funny number that is. I could either open the action once again and put more money in the middle or I could just call the 69 hoping to bring in the big blind. Option B sounds the best to me in the moment. I put in the call and look at that. The big blind comes in as well. We are going still three ways to the river. Just heads up here with the big blind. When the river comes a brick, the deuce of spades. Definitely have to put more money in considering I have the nuts. $250 in the middle and I fire out for 150. We see a snap fold from the big blind. The hijack turned out to have ace king of hearts. So what a cooler there. He flops top pair, top kicker. We flop ourselves a pair and a flush draw. Make it on the turn and taking down that $400 pot. You're right, it was a bang. That, that was a bang. That was a bang, that was a bang. <laughs> and look at that. We are in Profitsville for you guys. Moving right into the next hand. Ace queen of spades now from the button. Few limps to the cutoff. He makes it 25. I decide to three bet to 75. Pretty standard so far. Folds back around to him who puts in the call. Off the flop we go, which comes 8-5-3 with two spades and Benjamin checks it over to me. Great board for me to see bet on. I make it $55. We can still get better hands to fold such as ace king. Maybe hands like pocket fours, pocket sevens might fold the one bet. Who knows? I fire out for $55 and he folds his cards. He had the same hand, although it wasn't suited to the board. Ace queen of hearts. <laughs> Tell him he can pick one card and he chooses the ace of spades. That $214 is well appreciated by us here in the Wolfgang Poker Clan. Okay. Oh, yeah. good fold. Yeah, great fold. We are building a nice chip stack here. Moving into the next one, Ace Jack Offsuit, and I make it $15 to go. Two players put in the call, not before the small blind. Three bets to $45. Definitely way too small of a sizing, so I'm not going to let that go unpunished. I put in the call, definitely not going to be four betting, and two other players do as well. So look at this balloon pot here, $182 in the middle. We flop ourselves top pair. 
A small blind continues into three opponents and bets out for $50. I'm going nowhere with my top pair good kicker. I put in the call. That brings in the Lojack, who puts in the $50 as well, bringing us off to the turn, which comes the seven of spades. Will the small blind slow down and check? Yes, that's what they decide to do, and now we have a decision between betting and checking. Considering that the turn is the seven of spades, bringing in that front door spade draw, I decide to check, and the low jack checks behind, bringing in the eight of clubs. So now when the small blind picks up the betting lead once again and fires out into the $332 pot, uh, I just am not loving life at this moment. Uh, sure, it's only $75 to go if I want to continue. i got to put that in there. But there's also the low jack behind me. He could have backed into the 10 jack or 5-6 straight. He also could have checked behind on the turn with a flush. I make a very, very tight fold here and fold top pair with a great kicker. I also looked over at the low jack and it looked like uh, they were trying to put money in the middle before me. So that kind of influenced my action a little bit. I fold. The low jack shows ace jack. So please, the villain in the small blind needs to show a better hand. Otherwise, we would have chopped that pot. And sure enough, what a read. The small blind shows a seven of diamonds for a turned two pair. $482 going over their way. All right, I saved you guys some money, so the poker gods are rewarding me with pocket aces from the button. The best position and the best starting hand. How could we love this anymore? Early position raises up to $15. Cutoff, aka Jason Momoa, puts in the call. And I decide to three bet here to the tune of $60. Early positions out of the way and Benjamin puts in the call. Off to a flop we go, which comes ace, 10, 10, bang, we flop a boat. The flop goes check, check because I want him to catch up on the turn. However, the 10 of clubs on the turn is not a welcome sight. We go from having basically the nuts to now any 10 having us beat. He bets out for $5, which is kind of strange. Really don't think I'd be raising here with any of my hands. So with a boat, I have to just call. And now when he checks on the seven of hearts turn, I can finally go for value. Confident that if he just puts in the call, I'll have the best hand. If he raises me here, well, we'll be in a tough spot. I fur out for $50 and uh, we are not in that spot because he folds his cards. I show the boat and $200 coming over my way. I was waiting for you to show me the 10. <laughs> Yeah. Is there a jackpot here at this room? Uh, Jason Momoa, everybody. Jason Momoa, baby. Merry Wolfmas, everybody. As you already know, I'm picking seven lucky winners to split the profits of my 12 days of poker. But I have a special announcement that will be sure to sweeten the deal to make you want to enter. Champions Card Club in Houston has graciously offered to pay for all seven winners' flights and hotel stays, where each of you will receive your winnings as a buy-in on the Champions Club live stream. That's right, a round-trip flight, two-night hotel stay, and your first buy-in on the Champions 2 Five live stream all covered for free. Oh, and did I mention you'll be playing against me, Wolfgang, on the live stream? That's right, all of you who keep commenting that you take my money at the poker table. Well, now it's your time to step up to the felt. Remember, in order to enter, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment the keyword I give at the end of the video. Good luck and happy holidays. With $625 in our stack, I look down at King Queen from the cutoff. Undergun makes it 15. I call, and the big blind does as well. Three ways to the flop, we go and we get a good one, King-10-3 with two diamonds. Under the gun now fires out for $20. I could raise here, but instead I just put in the call. That brings in the villain in the big blind and the nine of clubs on the turn is kind of an action card. However, the action checks to me on the turn, so I need to go for some protection and value. Fire out for 50 bones, and both players fold, chipping up here nicely with no contest. Sure, we would have loved more money in the middle with our top pair, but no complaints here. $150 coming over my way. We're in the low jack, and I make it $15 to go with ace-10 offsuit. We're going to get called by the hijack and cutoff. Three ways here we go to a flop out of position, and it comes king-jack-10 with two diamonds. Pretty good board for me to bet my range on, so I fire out for around half the size of the pot. Are we going to get some calls, some folds, some raises? Let's see what happens here. Sure enough, the hijack makes it $60. Does he have ace queen? Does he have queen nine? There's some sets, some two pairs, some nut flush draws like ace five of diamonds. A lot of good stuff in there, and I decide to put in the 40 bucks extra. Off to the turn we go, which comes the ace of spades, giving me two pair. When I check, the hijack checks behind pretty fast, and the five of clubs on the river doesn't change anything. So now we're beating a lot of hands like king-jack, king-10, jack-10, 
all those busted diamond draws, and I don't really think he's checking behind with ace, queen, and queen, nine, which means it seems a little bit thin, but I'm gonna go for value here and bet out for $100. Sure, he can call us with all those two pairs, so I don't really think checking it is the best play for me. I need to get more money in the middle. He tanks for a while, and I mean a while, you guys. I'm definitely curious as to what he has, but when he puts in the call, I turn over my cards, and he flashes us for the camera and the viewers, king, jack, offsuit. So yeah, we made an extra 100 bucks on the river there, going for thin value. I know you guys will appreciate that one. We upgrade this time now to ace jack offsuit from the small blind. Cutoff makes it $15 to go. Could just be calling here, but uh, calling out of the small blind, not the best play. Instead, I like the more aggressive route and I make it $55. What's that? I don't pull the $1 back, so it's $56 to go. Cutoff calls and we see a flop which comes king, queen, nine, rainbow. I'm first to act, there's 114 in the middle and I go for a $50 bet. Cutoff puts in the call and the seven of clubs peels off on the turn, really shouldn't change anything. I could continue betting here and telling the story, I have a very strong hand, king, queen, ace, king, ace, queen, and uh, kings and queens are all in my range. However, I decide to check here. When he calls me on the flop, I think he's gonna get a little bit sticky and not fold too many of his made hands. So I check it over to him and he pretty quickly checks behind, bringing in a blank on the river. Now, when I start checking on the turn, my line doesn't make two cents to go large here on the river. I think all of my strong hands would continue on the turn for the most part. That means I'm kind of giving up on this hand. I don't want to bluff off any of the profits that I've made you guys so far. I check it over to him and uh, pretty quickly without much hesitation cut off jams all in for 225 this hand is over for us i muck my cards relinquishing the pot it's going to get shipped over his way but who knows maybe if i go for a bluff there on the river we get snapped off and i lose some money so can't be too mad about that one bring us into the last hand of the night the low jack makes it 20 dollars to go the cutoff puts in the call and i look down at ace king of diamonds what a welcome sight Obviously, I'm coming in for more money. Grab some green chips and make it 80 bucks, a standard 4X. And the villain in the low jack has other ideas. Does not want to play for 80 bucks. He wants to play for $250. The action's back over to me. I have him covered. He has around 500 in his stack. And yeah, I think we're gonna play for all of it. Four bets definitely aren't on the lighter side here at the low stakes, so I don't really think he's doing this with pocket eights, pocket nines, pocket tens. This is definitely jacks plus, but against that range, ace king suited can't be doing terrible. And in case he's some sort of fun low stakes player and he's doing this with five six suited or ace five suited, we have him in a world of trouble. So I'm gonna jam my entire stack in covering him. He doesn't look too stoked about it before putting in the call. Turns over ace four of clubs. Look at that, he is a fun player. They exist here in Texas at the low stakes and uh, we are going off to a flop. Before the flop comes out, we have a 70% chance to win this nearly $1,100 pot. But when the flop comes queen five deuce with two clubs, those equities flip. He now has a 66% chance to win it considering the fact he flopped himself a straight flush draw. Turn is a brick coming, the nine of diamonds, and now the equities flip once again. I'm 66% chance to win it, which goes up to 100 on the eight of diamonds river. And bang, look at that. We're taking down that $1,064 pot. Gonna be a happy holidays for you guys. Starting Wolfmas vlog number one off with a bang. Let's bring it to the outro here to see how much we made. All right, that wraps up day one of the 12 days of Wolfmas. I played four hours, I made $778. After 12 sessions, 12 days in a row, I'm gonna chop up that money seven ways and give it to you guys, the subscribers. But this time, I have something fun planned. I talked with Champions Club down in Houston, and they are willing to fly you guys out, put you up for two nights, and then stream a live stream on my channel of the seven winners, and I'm gonna give you that prize from the Wolfmas on the table as you're buying. It's gonna be an epic two days. We're gonna do a meetup game as well. So in order to be eligible, you have to like the video, you have to be a subscriber, and you have to comment down below the keyword on all 12 videos. In this video, the keyword is something about a straight flush. So let me know down below either a hand you played or something funny that you've heard about a straight flush. And I also wanna give a huge shout out to my poker coach, Alvin, who's made me a better player in 2023. We go over live streams before I play in them and all that good stuff. We even made a $77 training course. That link is down below to our training course and also his email if you wanna get some private coaching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy holidays, you guys. Wolfmas day one, out. Peace.
Joker? <laughs>